Today on this 2007 Honda Pilot, we're going to be installing Kurt Hitch part number 13328. Before we get started with our installation, we're going to go ahead and give you some measurements that can help you in selecting accessories like bike racks or cargo carriers. Our hitch height from the ground to the top of our receiver tube measures 16 inches. Our bumper clearance, that's the measurement from the center of the hitch pin hole to the farthest point of our vehicle, measures right at four inches. Now we'll go ahead and get started with our installation. It may not be necessary to remove the spare tire for installation, but we've gone ahead and done it just to get some extra space to make everything easier to view. The first thing we need to do is remove this tow hook on the driver's side frame rail. It's held in place with three bolts, and we're just gonna use a 17 millimeter socket and an impact gun to remove them. Now that the tow hook has been removed, we'll show you the attachment points for the hitch. We'll use these three weld nuts here on the driver's side, as well as on the passenger side. And finally, these two weld nuts behind the bumper, just above where the receiver tube will sit. Before putting the hitch into position, we'll clean out the exposed weld nuts on the passenger side, as well as behind the bumper. First, we'll spray them down with some lubricant and then use a wire brush, like part number 814092, to clear up the dirt and debris. We would also have to do this for the driver's side, but the tow hook used the existing weld nuts, so they should be clean and ready for the install. At this point, you'll probably want to grab a second set of hands to help you with the other side. Next, we're going to raise our hitch in a position, and we're just going to install one of the bolts, finger tight, inside the weld nuts on the frame. Take a bolt and the conical tooth washer, and make sure that the teeth of the washer are going to bite into the hitch flange. Then we'll finish starting the rest of the bolts on both the driver and passenger frame rails. Then we'll take the two M10 bolts and start them in the weld nuts on the rear bumper for the back bracket just above the receiver tube. We're going to take an impact gun and run our M10 bolts down and then we'll torque to the specifications listed in the instructions. Now we'll go ahead and run down the six bolts on either side of the vehicle. After we've run the bolts down on both sides, we'll go ahead and torque them down according to the specifications and in the instructions. With all of our hardware torqued down, that completes the installation of Kurt Hitch number 13328 on our 2007 Honda Pilot.